Hello everyone, this is Sweltrust from sweltrust.com and today I will show you the best UI component library that you can use for your SwelteKit projects. I have tried many different UI libraries when using Swelt, like Skeleton, just using a CSS library like Daisy, but the best one that I have found is using ShedCN. This library gives you amazing looking components like buttons and selects and toasts and everything. And they also have some examples in their, uh, and they also have some examples on the website, like a mail, dashboard, cards, tasks, like a linear app, authentication, etc. Accordions, alerts, custom calendar, carousel, combo box with uh, keyboard support, custom date picker. They have a drawer, menu bars. Nice looking sliders, pagination, tables, and basically everything you need to create an amazing looking web app or a SaaS. So to get started, we can just click get started, go to installation, Swelt Kit, and follow these directions. So the first one is creating a project. Next, we need to add Tailwind using the Swelt Add CLI. Now let's run the CLI from ShedCN and Swalt. I recommend you to use New York, it looks better with the borders. Next, next, next. And now we have ShedCN installed. So the unique thing about this library is that you actually generate each component and it's included directly in your project. So let's say we want to add the uh, button component, npx ShedCN and Swalt latest, add button. It will be included in the lib components UI button folder. So let's go to source routes page asphalt. So we will just import the button. And because it's put in lib, they use the dollar lib to refer to that path. And then we can use the button like usual. So now we got this nice button. So I'm going to try out the command. We need to install command. We will do add command. Yes. And they also use Lucide Swelt, which is currently my favorite icon framework. So we will npm i Lucide Swelt. So I will just copy this here. So now we got this great looking command. It looks even better than the VS Code one. If you want to switch to dark mode, you need to go to source app.html and at the top here write class equals dark so now everything is dark mode all right that's it for this video make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want to learn how to build real projects make sure to go to my website sweltrust.com and sign up all right goodbye